smoke shop near UC's campus, nicotine toothpicks have made quite an impression. We all kind of tried them because we were curious, you know what I mean? And the jury's not out yet. We may get them in, we may not. It really depends. But people like them. Noah Meisberger says puff smoke on West McMillan recently got a sample of toothpicks that look like these. They were infused with nicotine, an addictive stimulant found in tobacco plants. Toothpicks are just nice because, as far as I can tell, ease of use and speed. The founder of Pixatine, Evan Grossman, says his company created the nicotine toothpick market six years ago. This is for tobacco users to make a switch and make a change um, or to get, get their nicotine where they normally couldn't. Grossman is critical of competitors who make similar toothpicks that taste like candy, which may make teenagers think they're okay. We want to make sure that the kids aren't using them at a certain point. We also feel that parents and uh, teachers should be educating their, their students and children children and kids, you know, the youth, um, about the dangers of nicotine, just like they do the dangers of alcohol. I talked to many tobacco enthusiasts who never heard of nicotine toothpicks. The same goes for anti-drug advocate Mary Haig, who agrees that educating kids is critical since kids can do things without anyone knowing. Nobody knows because they're not aware of it. So if that is a new product or delivery method, then parents need to know, schools need to know. It appears many people buy nicotine toothpicks on the internet. Evan Grossman says his company uses age verification software that checks public records to verify the person placing an order is at least 18. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.